Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler platter, but just here as I've been doing for a little while, I work with our trap food and drink items, I eat the stuff I drink stuff, folks. Then I talk about the stuff, I'm gonna let you know all you need to know about awfully delicious stuff. Whilst well, I'm doing so, there's pecan and Thunderbolt post behind me, a bunch of Marvel figures, there's a crappy little ladder up for the side. On top of that, I'm wearing a cool shirt. When I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing today, folks? Boom! John Carpenter's The Thing shirt. It's from the 80s. It has Kurt Russell. That's all you need to know. Not to mention, quite possibly, if not definitely, the coolest practical effects of all time. I'm just saying. If you love horror movies, absolutely go over there and check it out. It's wonderful. One of my favorite movies. But anyway, folks... Aside from the super cool shirt and all the stuff and doings in the background, what am I trying for y'all today? Well, even I don't entirely know, but it is boom! It is Barbican pomegranate flavored malt beverage. It is non alcoholic, which is funny because I bought it from a supermarket and I went over there and the girl who rang me up, uh, I don't think was old enough to go over there and ring up alcoholic beverages by herself. So she had to go over there and call her supervisor over. And I think even her supervisor was just kind of like, I don't know what this is. So whatever, I'll punch in my key code or what the fuck ever just to be safe. But it does clearly say non-alcoholic. You just, you got to look. It's, it's on there. It's also got a bunch of squiggly words from another country. And I don't mean that to be disrespectful to said other country. I'm just not familiar with that particular script. But uh, maybe there'll be a thing on it that says where the hell this is from. Where are you from? Well, it's apparently from Zayed Brothers Importing from Cicero, Illinois. That doesn't help me very much. Does it have a thing somewhere else? I'd like to know where it originally came from. Unless it's just from Cicero, Illinois, but it says that it was imported. Um, yeah, I don't know. If I happen to remember, I'll try to look it up so that I can put it in the description of the thing. But yeah, I found this thing. I went to uh, went to a local supermarket. It's one I don't usually go to. They a lot of times have interesting, you know, like beverages and foreign foods and stuff. And they had this. It was over by the sushi section, actually, now that I recall. I don't think that the script is Japanese, though. I don't, I don't, I can't read Japanese, but I can't recognize it. So, anyway, let's try a thing. I'm going to try to twist it off, and I'm almost certain it's not. And that's why you shouldn't listen to me, folks, because I'm an idiot. I went over there, brought my bottle opener and everything. Open it up. I will say I like malt beverages. Uh, Malta Goya and Malta India. They're both really interesting, fun drinks. So I don't drink them a lot because they're a bit much, but they're good. Did I buy... Did I buy pomegranate near beer from some country? Because, like, yeah, there's, like, kind of a pomegranate smell to it. Okay, I got that. And then it also just kind of smells like ass beer. But now, mm, I don't think I'm going to like this very much. I don't think this is going along the lines of, like, the Malta Goya and the Malta India. Because those aren't trying to be beer. They're just malt beverages. Malt is a thing. It doesn't have to do with beer. Uh, it's just you know, part of beer, typically. But it can be its own thing. This, I feel like it's trying to be beer. I don't drink a lot, hence why you don't really see me do too much alcoholic stuff here. I did some, uh, I did like a pineapple IPA. I also did, uh, God, what the hell was it? Oh, PBR coffee or some shit like that. Feel free to watch those videos. Um, but yeah, I'm not a big drinker, but like if I am going to drink, I'd like it to be actual alcohol, not. All right, let's give it a go.
That is so weird. This is trying to be like three things at once. So, okay. There is kind of a like wannabe beer taste to it. And it's not, it's not great tasting. Okay, like the, the word, I mean, I, like I said, I don't really drink. So it's like, there's no best part of drinking for me because like, I don't, I'm not into getting drunk or anything like that. And then on top of that, Typically, alcohol doesn't taste all that good to me. There's a couple that I'm a little bit okay with, but typically it's not really my bag unless I'm like out social or something like that. I'll nurse a Heineken for a couple hours. Um, there is sort of like a near beer aspect to it. There's definitely something. It's got that like that mild, very mild kind of like like skunkiness to it. Yeah. That's not a great... It's, why is that a flavor that exists? I don't fucking understand it. Yeah, and then it... Like, it becomes sort of a bitterness. Like, this, the skunky aspect... And it, to be fair, it's diminishing as I'm drinking it. Um, I want to like this. Because... That aspect of it is not good. I don't like that aspect of it. But once that subsides, what's left isn't bad because it's just kind of a sweet pomegranate soda. And it's actually really tasty. But you have to kind of get past that aspect of it. It does get better as you drink it. Like, with a lot of drinks, like, the first, like, you know, few swigs you take of it, you're getting, like, kind of that concentrated stuff, you know, just the, the shit that's been lingering in the in the drink um, as that kind of goes away. Because the first drink was not great. Subsequent drinks have been a little bit better, a little bit better. I kind of like this. I think if they could go over there and get rid of the... The, the funky aspect of it at the beginning. This would be something I would be very down with because there's not a lot, I mean, you know, I don't know where other people live in the world. Here in the US of A, there's not a lot of pomegranate sodas, but pomegranate's a good flavor. And there's no reason why it couldn't be a good soda. This kind of fills that role, but it just needs that not weird taste. But then at the same time, I'm almost kind of liking it a little bit now. So, because, yeah, like, uh, that's interesting. So, aside from, like, the very, very beginning of it, where I didn't really like it very much, the, sort, the somewhat bitter aspect at the very, very beginning, it does kind of create an interesting contrast that makes you sort of appreciate the sweetness in the pomegranate. Hmm. You know what? There's something to that. Seriously. It's it's a very unique experience. Like, I don't think I've ever had a drink that drinks exactly like this. And that's a good thing. Like, even if it's... Because the worst thing about going over there and trying something new is if it just tastes generic or just is dull. This, although my relationship with it has been a little bit up and down as I've been going along... There is something to it, and I, I do like that it's, like, unique and weird. Um, now, that said, ultimately the question has to become, if I do kind of like it, then would I buy it again? The answer is yes, but not as a regular thing. This would be something where I would go over there, like... Probably, like I said, the, the supermarket that I went to, I don't typically go to that supermarket. I'm maybe a few times a year. I could see picking one of these up, you know, when I make an occasional visit. And I could see, you know what, like, the fact that it was in the sushi section, I could actually kind of see this working in that setting. 
I, I could. Because it's like an interesting, you know, complex flavor to go along with sushi, which typically is kind of interesting and complex. I'm so hungry. I've done a bunch of reviews today, but they've all been drink-related. Oh, I gotta make food after this. But yeah, I do, I do like it. It's, it's weird. It is not for everybody. Like, in terms of recommendation, I would recommend trying it and, and give it a go, okay? Like, don't, you know, like I said, the first, first swig of it wasn't the best. Go with it, though, because there is something to it, and it's unique, and it's weird, and I like the complexity to it. I like it. But, again, it's definitely not going to be for everybody. Um, but, but yeah, it, it's a weird little, excuse me, it's a weird little misfit malt beverage pomegranate soda thing, what the hell ever, from lands far away, but, uh, or Cicero. I used to have a, is that where my aunt used to live? Or was that where my mom used to live when I was really, really, really little? I don't know, but someone I knew definitely lived in Cicero at one point. But anyway, um, yeah, there is something to it. And I, I you know, yeah, I, does, I can't give it a full recommendation, but, oh, it says premium. Like, there's, like, little, like, words indented into the, uh, the glass, I'm just, hoping maybe it would say where it's from i'm definitely gonna look up where it's from because i enjoy it so anyway folks that's gonna do it for me on this one five things before i get out of here oh my god i'm so done with this i like doing these reviews but man oh man i do so many back to back and i haven't slept yet today have yourself a great rest of your day spectacular rest of your week monumental rest of your month stupendous rest of your year and folks if you can go over there and have yourselves a weird ass pomegranate near beer soda rest of your life i guess because just like with most people's lives maybe it doesn't always start out the best but you go over there you have your experiences you have your ups and downs but at the end of it folks it's still tasty i don't know follow two things before i get out of here happy blah, blah, blah. try to bring some positivity in the world it's not always possible it is however always appreciated but you know, we can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Okay, that's not always an easy thing to do, folks. Even while you're holding a weird pomegranate soda beer thing that you almost begrudgingly enjoy, okay, sometimes even that's not enough to go over there and shake off the assholesness in our days because it's a complicated world, folks. But try to mitigate the level of assholesness. That's all I'm saying, folks. You're going to have your moments. I have my moments. But some days are pretty good. You're wearing a thin shirt. you got beer can, Thunderpulp. You're trying a weird-ass drink that's pretty good. You know, that's all I'm saying. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there. You're going to go to your supermarket. You're going to find some of this stuff. And you're going to give it a shot. And maybe, like me, you'll learn to love it a little bit. And then you'll learn that you can love again, too. Because, folks, I need to kind of envision, like, okay, there's, like, behind me, like, we're fading out. You know, like, if I had actual, like, editing skills and stuff, there's, like, a field going on, a beautiful sunset. and You know, because we live in a world that's complicated and difficult, but there's, there's always something to love. There's always a, a reason to keep walking forward. Or conversely, you could go over there and do something else that isn't evocative of, like, you know, uh, an iced tea commercial. Uh, you could go over there and um, go out and get yourself some sushi. Sushi is really good. It just is. I always, I always find it funny when you get folks who are maybe a little bit older. Though, to be fair, not saying across the board. Or to say that younger folks don't as well. But I, I do find it a little bit funny when you get folks who are a little bit older who they, they still can't wrap their head around sushi. And it's like, just try it. It's really good. Bye.